Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're doing a quick color comparison between the space gray and the silver iPhone 6s and iPhone 6s Plus. Now, uh, first thing to note is that the space gray is a little bit darker than last year's model. You might not notice it here, but it definitely is a little bit darker. And that's a good thing since I've been kind of wanting a black phone for some time now, and it definitely looks like Apple might be taking that out along with the iPhone 7. But uh, we'll have to wait till we get a fully black phone. For, for now, we're getting the silver and then the darker silver, which is the space gray color. Now we're doing a quick color comparison between these two guys right here, because this is probably the two colors that are maybe the most popular and more simple of the bunch since they're not bright, they're not very, uh, I guess, eye-popping and people don't really care for it when they see it. Instead with the gold and the rose gold color, you are gonna get a lot of people that are gonna say, oh, that's the gold color, that's the rose gold color, let me see it, let me, let me check it out. And with this, you're not gonna get anyone to ask you to let them use your phone for just a color. So that's one of the good things. That's why I always go for the darker colors. It attracts less attention, people notice it less, and I don't really want people to notice it. Now I also go for the dark colors because the front has the black, and that black allows for more seamless gaming and entertainment and more things like that. And then this one's white right here, and this is a, a brighter thing. And I've always said that if you do a lot of media, like watching videos, playing games, go for the space gray. If you text a lot, use Twitter a lot, use all those apps like that a lot, then go for this guy right here. Because when you open an app, let's say Messages for example, you can see this black line around it. And I find that a little bit distracting in some apps. It's not a big problem in apps like these that have white like this. It, it kind of looks kind of cool, that different contrast. But for the most part, I find it a little bit annoying and prefer no line because of the black borders. It kind of just all blends into one. And I just prefer it like this right here, just a little bit more simple and less going on with the screen. And it just doesn't separate the screen for me. And you can still see it there. And it's not a huge problem, but it's something to note and something to keep in mind. If you watch a lot of videos, you're probably gonna want this just because it's gonna be a little bit more, you know, it's gonna blend in more with your phone. It's gonna make it more of a seamless experience. With the black one or with the space gray, you're also gonna get a very nice bevel here or a very, very nice look here that it almost looks like the screen is kind of blending into the back like that. And that's an effect that you don't really get with the white phones. And you can kind of see that there. And, you know, I mean, it's not a big thing, but something to note, it just looks very nice. It looks seamless, you know? If you turn on the screen, the screen's on. It looks really good. And this guy, it kind of is just, you know, it's all bright all the time. And then you turn on the screen. So you can kind of just see how they both are right there. And get an idea for which one you like the most. Now checking out the backs here, you can just kind of see the antenna lines and the differences between the two. The uh, space gray Apple logo right there, the silver Apple logo right here, and uh, the cameras right here also are color coded to each phone. And the antenna lines, the bottoms of the phone, let's get a closer look here so you guys can see that. And of course, the front, we got that ring around this guy and basically no ring around that, you can't really see it. And uh, so if you want a ring around Touch ID to kind of, you know, it kind of looks cool in some in some ways, then you're probably gonna wanna go for this one. If you don't want a ring, then go for this guy right here. And I guess the last thing that I do also wanna mention is these guys right here, the speaker, the mic, and the camera. Uh, you don't see that on the space gray. That's because it blends in with the black. Well, the silver does not at all. You can see everything, it kind of, it has this stormtrooper look because of that black and white. And some people really like that contrast of the black and the white and the silver. And some people just prefer this thing that you almost don't see any anything here. You kind of just see the speaker grill maybe a little bit, but for the most part, you don't really see any of those, the camera or anything like that, nor the touch ID. It's a very, toned down phone for a person who's a little bit maybe more serious and then this one's for a person who's a little bit more playful. But uh, of course it goes either way and it'll match pretty much anyone, you know, a business person can use this or a, or a 10 year old can use this and both phones are the same exact thing. But hopefully those kind of tips kind of helped you out. It's kind of the same as last year, but uh, you know, go over it again so you guys can see the iPhone 6S. In case you didn't know, this does have a 12 megapixel camera on the back. We got a five megapixel camera on the front right here. We have 3D touch, which if you tap on certain apps, you're gonna get some functions. Some of the apps don't work. So for example, iBooks does work. Mail, of course, works. It doesn't work on every app. So a lot of the functionality is in very few select apps. 
and it's going to take some time before developers actually start using this so if one of the reasons you wanted to upgrade is because of 3d touch i highly recommend waiting till more apps are available or just wait for the iphone 7 when 3d touch is fully working with almost every app out there on the app store fully taking advantage of it and that's one of the things so if you're planning on getting a phone for 3d touch wait but if you're depending on you know if you're already getting a new phone and you want between one of these two colors hopefully that helped you out and if you have any specific questions feel free to ask down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye hey there so i wanted to add this quick little ending to thank you for watching this video also to let you know that if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to comment down below because I try to get to every single comment on this channel. Sometimes the YouTube to Google Plus integration doesn't want me to reply to some comments. So if anything, you can reach out to me on Twitter at rmrdnl, that's my personal one, or at dargadgets, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But uh, thank you for watching this video. There's a ton of iPhone 6S coverage on the channel, so you can check that out if you'd like. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.